this tutorial we create this dancing text animation. At first we add a solid color and increase the size to 10 seconds. After that we create a compound clip. Now we switch to Fusion. We add a 3D text node and we enter our title. In this case, VDW Productions. We activate the lightning option of our viewer. Now we increase the extrusion depth. We also increase the bevel depth and the bevel width. If you zoom in you can see the bevel. In the next step we are going to create our dancing text animation. Make sure that the 3D text node is selected. We create a modifier on our style text property and choose follower. In the next step we configure the random size. We right click on the Y property and choose Modify with Shake. Here you can see that the text is animated. Now we adjust the minimum and the maximum size. In my opinion it looks much better. We still adjust the smoothness so that the animation is faster. Now you can see that each character moves the same as the others. Now we change that. We click on the timing tab of our follower. Now we increase the delay property. Now what we have is that the animation is uh, set from left to right. What we would like is that the animation is more random. Therefore we um, go to the order property and change uh, this property to random but one by one. That is much better, in my opinion. In the next step we want to add random colors. So we switch to the style properties. And we add a modifier to the red color and select modify with shake. And we do the same with the other colors, with green and blue. Now we need to reseed the random seed of each color.
Perfect. The dancing text animation is done. And the next step, we are going to create the light rays. For that, we um, add a shape 3D node. After that, we add a merge 3D node and set the text 3D uh, node as background and the shape 3D node as foreground. We need the uh, 3D shape because we want to create a ground for our text so that we can see shadows and lightning. For that we need to adjust the X rotation of our shape. We adjust it to minus 90. The shape is too small and the next step is that we are uh, going to scale the shape. In the next step we add a spotlight node to add a uh, light and we connect it with the merge 3D node. After that we need to activate the use target property. Now we move the spotlight behind the text and adjust the Y position. In the viewer we uh, activate the 3D options shadows. Now we increase the cone angel of the spotlight node. What we do next is to add a camera 3D node. We connect this camera with the Merge 3D. Now we change the position of the camera. To see the result of the camera we need to add a renderer 3D node. We connect the merge 3D node with our new created renderer 3D node. After adjusting the position of the camera we need to set the target. Make sure that the renderer 3D node is activated. Now we enable the lightning and the shadow. Now we need to adjust our shape node. Click on the material tab and deactivate the received lightning because we only want to get the shadows. After activating the spotlight node we go to shadows and increase the density property to make the shadows a little bit darker. Now we set the softness from none to variable. What we need to do next is to adjust the spread property and the filter size.
we add a new background node and change the color to white. We add a new merge node and set the background as background and the renderer 3D node as foreground. Now we add a new Merge 3D node and connect the Text 3D node with our camera. After that we create a new renderer 3D node. Now we create a resize node and change the width and height. We need that because the calculation of the blur effect needs uh, so much uh, calculation power of your machine and uh, therefore we uh, use a smaller size for that. Now we add a directional blur node. We change the type of the directional blur to zoom and uh, change the length property. After that we uh, create a new resize node and we will get our correct resolution of our animation clip. What we do next is to adjust the glow property of our directional blur. Now um, we add a new color correction node after the renderer 3D node. And here we adjust the saturation. In the next step we add a new merge node. and connect the color correction as background with the merge node. And our first merge node uh, we set it as a foreground. Make sure that the merge to node is selected and now we change the apply mode to multiply. Now we add a new merge node. And we connect the resize to node as background. and the output of the merge 1 node as foreground. Make sure that the merge 3 node is selected. Now we uh, change the apply mode uh, to multiply. Now we add a new merge node again and connect the output of the merge 3 node as background and the output of the merge 2 node as foreground. Now we decrease the alpha gain property of the match flow node to zero. To add more glow we add the soft glow node directly after the match 4 node. And here we uh, decrease the gain property. And we uh, increase the glow size a little bit. What we would like is that the blurs um, is more coming out from the center, therefore we uh, adjust the position.
In the next step we want to animate our camera. We go to the first frame and we set our starting position. Now we activate the keyframe animation of our camera. Now we go to frame 190. After that we change the end position of the camera. Therefore make sure that the camera node is selected. After that, uh, we can play back our animation. What we have to do next is to connect our uh, media out with our self glow node. Now we switch our working space. Here we add a new sound file and uh, adjust the size. That's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We see us in my next tutorial. Bye bye.